Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here. And first of all, I want to say thank you for getting me to 50k subscribers. I'm feeling very, very happy about it. And it's all down to your support, which I'm very grateful for. So thank you so much. Now, today I'm going to be talking to you about exam practice and my top tips for this. And that's because exam season is around the corner, right? And you might not know this, but I'm actually taking all of the maths and further maths exams alongside you guys this summer. So I am in the same boat as you. Now, you probably can't tell, but I'm actually abroad right now in Istanbul, which I wouldn't normally advise this close to the exams. But I've come here with my dad to visit our family. My dad's Turkish and he moved to the, the UK when he was 17 years old for university. And education has always been very important in my family. So I have actually been studying whilst I've been here. I was learning new further maths content on the plane and I've been doing some various bits of exam practice around Istanbul. So as you see me practicing in different places, I'm going to talk to you about my top tips for studying. So whether you have finished the content or not at this stage, now is definitely the time to start doing exam questions and exam papers way more seriously. So how should you go about doing this? Well, I always say to my students, the timing is just one of the most crucial things in terms of exam strategy. So whether you're doing just like a single question or a full paper, you've got to have your phone stopwatch with you, always doing it in timed conditions. Now for Edexcel, this works out as 1.2 minutes per mark. But what I recommend is for the first five or six questions, try and push that down to one minute or less per mark, which will then buy you for those harder ones that at the end, those last four or five questions, more like 1.5 minutes per mark so that, yeah, you can really spend time on those much, much tougher ones that you have. Now, even if you're just doing one question by itself, you should still do it timed because it's going to get you into that right mindset for when you're taking the exams. Now, I probably do not recommend drinking beer whilst doing your exams, even if you are older than 18. Uh, but I was trying to enjoy myself a little bit here. And, you know, why not? Anyway, something else I recommend for full papers is completing it in one coloured pen to begin with, like black or blue. And then when the time runs out, you should switch to a different colour. And then give yourself the extra time that you might need and see what you could have done were you to be better with your timing and to be more speedy. And then finally, switch to a totally different colour again to answer the questions that you couldn't do by using videos or mark schemes to help you with that. And that's going to help you really clearly see what are the things you can improve on from timing and exam strategy and what are the topics that you need to go and do some extra practice with. Now, for those questions that you couldn't do at first, I want you to take a photo of them. I want you to save them somewhere. And then a few days or a week or so later, try them again. And it might, might sound silly to repeat a question, but it's so good because if you still can't do it after going over them, then you've obviously misunderstood what the examiner was trying to get out there. And they do repeat question styles so much. So it's going to help you get loads, loads better and feel way more confident. You can see I'm doing questions wherever I can. So even if you have 15 minutes to spare, grab a question. I have tons of them in my Google Drive and just sit down and do one. Every single bit of extra revision is going to count. So if you can just squeeze some extra studying in, always, always do it. Now is not the time for fun or socialising, despite it looking like I'm having an amazing time with my family. In actual fact, I am just studying and I'm living in my own mathematical world here. Anyway, my next plans are to host some live streams in the build up to the exams. And I'm also running a few classes in the coming weeks. Some of these have already happened. They were brilliantly reviewed and people found them very useful. If you want to purchase the recordings for these, you can watch them immediately as soon as you purchase them. And you can do this from the link in the description. Um, they're great if you just need a little extra push or some help. And I'd definitely recommend checking them out. Anyway, that is it from me. I better get back to eating some barrack and some baklava. Uh, hang on, I mean, uh, I better get back to doing some maths. Anyway, guys, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much and good luck with your studies.